first met Christos uh, when he was 12, when he came to the high school for, for trumpet lessons. I knew he was destined for great things. I knew he was very talented. We had numerous conversations about what line he was going to go. He had talked about going on to study music. At the age of 14 or 15, he really showed an interest in jazz and had a conversation with me one day that that was the route he wanted to go down. Yeah. He introduced us to jazz. Yeah, I think. We then, didn't know what jazz was. Yeah, I mean, still don't like some things, but. Some of the jazz is a bit heavy. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Audiences' response to playing jazz records in clubs has changed a lot in the last few years. Five years ago, it sometimes was risky to play a jazz record. I think the rise in the scene has made a lot of young people be into jazz. Jazz is no longer like a buzzword. It used to be a word that was not associated with young people having big gatherings and, and partying, but now it really is. And I think that that's so amazing and it's opened so many doors. <laughs> okay. I still get that feeling that there's, there's no security, but I'm, I mean, I'm happy. If he's happy playing jazz, then we're happy for him. We just want to see him happy. As Christos always says to me, I'm never going to be rich. He says, if I can make a living at being a jazz musician, then I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs>